Hey, 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 Uncle Mark and the Mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Who's been talking? Howlin' Wolf. Um, this is a song that I heard first by uh, Lucky Peterson. So, uh, and Lucky Peterson passed away sadly in 2020. What a great, great musician. But, um, and that's who I heard it from first. But this is an old school blues tune and it's in A minor. So it's A minor blues. So these are all minor chords and I'll show you how to go back and forth between major and minor really easily. And it's just cool. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm using my Mox Vox Mini Go with the foot switch. So uh, I'm gonna loop this and then do a little solo to show you what you can do with this and then we'll completely break it down easy the uncle mark way so uh here we go my baby called a train she left me all alone yeah my baby called a train she left me all alone she knows i love her she done me wrong So what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. These are electric guitar strings. And uh, I'm playing through, like I said, a Vox Mini Go. And uh, so let me explain a little bit of what's going on here. So we are in A minor. Right now, let's not worry about minors. Let's just worry about some chords. Where are they? So we're in open G, G sharp, A. It's the second fret, two, two, two. And if you turn your finger a little bit like that, you're gonna find it easier to grab that. The other two chords are uh, the seventh fret and the ninth fret. So G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, and that's a D bar chord, D sharp, E and that's an E bar chord, and you're looking at these dots. So you're right below that dot there on A, and then you are on this dot here and this dot here. That's your D and your E. So it's A, D, and E. Just remember, second fret, seventh fret, ninth fret. It's all you have to worry about, that's the whole song. You don't have to worry about minors because minors are implied. Now, it does help. We'll look at that later. But right now, all you have to do is work with the key of A and your rhythm. So to start out with this song, you really, really don't have to worry too much about it. Just strum. Baby called a train and left me all alone. We're going to go to the seventh fret. My baby called a train. Left me all alone. Back to the second fret. Now we're gonna go to nine. No, I love her. Nine, eight, seven. You know she's doing me wrong. Then you stop, and then it starts again with the lyric. Well, my baby bought a ticket. So you can just strum along. You go from two to seven to nine. And that little nine, eight, seven really makes it cool that. That's the easiest way to play this. Now, using the minor chord. So you can certainly use the major chord and that works totally fine. But if you add, so it would be two, two, five. If you add that C to that A minor, it gives it a darker, darker tone. So if you like that dark tone,
that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. But you would be doing something like this. The shape will stay the same. Then you're going to go to the seventh fret, but you're going to be seven, seven, ten. And then you're back to two, two, five. And then you're going to go to nine, nine, twelve. So 9, 9, 12, 8, 8, 11, 7, 7, 10. If you like that and you can make that stretch, that's great. If not, I would work on that stretch. Even though you may not use it for this tune, you may want to at some point use that note to make that minor. And, uh, you know, it's over here and it just shows you the actual note to make the minor. So the rhythm I like, it's a boom, chicka, boom, chicka, chicka. So it's a. To do this properly, you're actually lifting up your finger a little bit during this. So it's a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And that second down, you're kind of raking. You're kind of raking on that second down, but you don't have to worry about any of that. So, you know, you're playing along with the song and you got this part and you're just kind of hanging out with it. And uh, so I'm actually going to do it. Well, who's been talking? Well, who's been talking? Everything that I do. Well, who's been talking? Everything I do Where well, you is my baby You know I hate to lose Okay, so now that we have a rhythm for this thing What I kind of want to talk about is Where are the notes for soloing? So, just think of a box Where 5th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the G string, and that little box right there. So 5, 7, 5, 7. And watch what I do with that. Exactly. Turn this off. Turn it off, you. There we go. So that little box will work exactly perfect. So you're kind of just picking notes out. So just pick notes out that you like. So what I would do is start with two notes out of this, say, say five here on the G string and seven on the D string. So you're just going to go back and forth. Those are the only two notes you're going to need for this exercise. whole solo. So that's kind of 
what you want to do here. That's kind of what you want to do here is use those two notes as a building block for more notes. So your first box, as we talked about, is here, right on the fifth fret of the D string, seven of the G string, five and seven. You have another box, okay? So your other box is here, 12th fret, 14th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret, and you can... So I'm gonna take two notes out of here, and let's just say uh, 12th G string and 14 G string. Just take two notes out of that little box. All it takes to solo is a couple of notes. a slow transitional start. And so that's how you would learn how to solo. Take this rhythm, and you can take this from the album if you want. Um, look up Lucky Peterson's version. That's just fantastic. You got to listen to Lucky Peterson. So look up Lucky Peterson and uh, Who Been Talking and then play along with it using this box here. And I, it's really a rectangle, but I think of it as a box, those four notes, and then use these four notes. And you're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And this is a way to start playing some minor blues, to give it a go, and then, you know, move on and do a little soloing within that. Um, you can always look up Minor Blues in A on uh, YouTube, and you can play along with that too, using those two blues boxes. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do. We are a 100% all donation channel. We don't accept anything from any advertisers or anything. That's how we keep it ad-free or as ad-free as we can, because some of the videos I do will uh, say content creator wants the ad revenue and they put an ad on it. But I would never put an ad on anything. I just want to say thank you so much for everything, all your support. I wouldn't be here without you. Um, I am playing through this mini go and I will show you these settings. So let me uh, unplug it so I can actually get it to show you. So these are the settings on the Mini Go. My amp type is straight up. And as you can see, you can see the settings I am using right there. And uh, thank you so much for everything you do for me. You know, like I said, I wouldn't be here without you. And uh, well, you guys have just been so good to me. So Really, really, really thank you so much. Listen to the Howlin' Wolf version. Listen to Lucky Peterson. This is a blues standard you should know. Also, if you need more blues instruction, I have a uh, beginner and an intermediate three-string cigar box guitar bundles on my website. So take a look at that. PayPal and Square donation links below. All that good stuff. Look down there. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon.